I've never watched any of these sketchy channels like the ones Don Wells likes to go on. But from what I've heard through more reputable channels, things may be getting dangerous. Does polluted water seek its own level? Let's break down the facts. So, it seems that dirtbag Don Wells confirmed during some sort of dark web interview that Dr. Phil sprung for new dentures for Candace. Dentures at 40? Good God, how old was this woman when she lost her real teeth? Just another reason to laugh when Don Wells talks about Candace not liking drugs. Give me a break. The quickest way a person can part with their teeth is drugs like meth and crack. What isn't funny, though, is the way Don Wells' demeanor is being described. When the Brits say that someone has lost the plot, they mean that they've gone around the bend mentally. Supposedly, Don Wells was half in the bag during his last interview and said that he and Candace had been drinking. Coming off the heels of the Dr. Phil taping, is that what drove them to drink? In a perfect world, a Dr. Phil would be able to trick reprobates like Don and Candace into making self-incriminating statements, and once the segment airs, the police will have enough to take a trip up Ben Hill Road with a nice shiny pair of bracelets for Don and Candace. Only, this isn't a perfect world. I saw a teaser clip a few seconds long showing Dr. Phil admonishing Candace, who had an upset look on her face. Again, I have no intention of watching this show, and if I had to guess, the good doctor isn't likely to have gotten a denture-worthy performance out of Candace. She either looked teary while saying very little during her time on the stage, which may or may not have been from beginning to end, or, at some point, if Phil got a little too close, Candace probably took the mic off, stood up, and stormed off. That's what I do see happening, and sadly, what I don't, is either Don or Candace saying enough during that show to form probable cause to make an arrest. I'd like to hear that Dr. Phil called these two creepy creatures out by telling them that he thinks that they know exactly what happened to Summer and exactly where she is. They absolutely do, so when I hear Don raging at the person who took Summer, it just pisses me off to no end that none of these yokels have rendered him to within an inch of his life. I know that there are a lot of dirtbags out there with no regard for the law, and while people like that could be hiding Summer out, or people like that could have trafficked her, the most likely scenario is neither. Summer Wells is most likely dead, having died on Candace's watch due to Candace's fault. Grandis knows what happened, and so does Don, but he's in the driver's seat because his role in Summer's disappearance was secondary. If he's getting itchy feet over the attention he's getting from the other low-life females a rung or two up from Candace on the female food chain, Candace may be looking to Dr. Phil for a new ass after Don throws her out on the sorry one she already has. If Don Wells is growing increasingly more resentful of Candace, blaming her for their situation, and he's gone back to heavy drinking, Candace may very well be in danger from his wrath. Is that why Grandis came back? Does she fear that the ticking time bomb that is Don is going to detonate on her daughter? Are the police aware of all of this? They should be, and should be trying to appeal to Candace either directly or through Grandis, to tell them what happened to Summer and get away from Don. Like Brian Laundry, though, I think that Candace would rather be dead than go to jail or even have to get a job to support herself and her drug and alcohol habits. This woman clearly lives for her next drunk and her next stone. What she doesn't live for, what she's never lived for, is her children. Absent some revelation from the Dr. Phil show, which I'm not holding my breath waiting for, Candace and Don are going to get away with being responsible for Summer's disappearance. Now I'd like to hear from you. 
In the comments below, let me know if you're getting tired of the Don Wells drama and the Candace Wells tricks and think that if these people aren't going to tell the truth about what happened to their daughter, they need to just shut up and go away. Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video where we'll continue to break down the facts.